My name is Katie Barber. I'm an animal science major and I'm a sophomore right now. I love animals and I'm pre-vet so I thought what was the best major to prepare myself for vet school and so I picked animal science and it's fun. There's a lot of interactive classes that deal with animals so I figured it would be a good major for me. Definitely the animal science one, like animal science one and two were my favorites because they like really worked hands-on with animals. And then I actually enjoyed chemistry which I didn't think I was, but I like that. Well, there are like the general educations that don't really have to do with my actual major, but I think they're good to take as like well-rounded classes, like the English classes I took and the community, or not comparative lit classes. Like, of course, they're not, I'm not going to be an English major or a lit major, but I think it's good to be able to write and learn like that and be able to read and comprehend things. So they don't directly relate to animals and sciences, but I think they're good, well-rounded classes. I have done study abroad. I did it this past summer. I went to a couple of GE courses in Australia, um, English and Humanities, so I just figured GE classes are kind of boring already, so why not take them to another country? And yeah, I did it through Davis's program, and it was really easy to transfer classes and sign up for it because I could just go straight to the abroad center here and get any of my questions answered, so definitely recommend doing study abroad. I feel like it was just not only the experience of going abroad and like being on your own in a completely different country, um, the classes, I mean, they were English and Arts and Humanities, so they didn't necessarily pertain to animals, but I made sure that there was a focus on animals, because the last week we went to the Outback, and just all we did was play with animals, so I mean, you can really play with the abroad programs and make it what you want with the classes you want, so I think it helped, definitely. I mean, I got to see a bunch of animals that I've never seen before, so I figured that was beneficial at least. In internships at the horse barn here on UC Davis, pretty much any animal facility here, you can get a hands-on internship if you want to, whether it's just shadowing, which anybody can do and walk on and do, or you can do more intensive ones where you can be barn managers or like help out with the milking process. What I did, I went to the horse barn and I was just like a basic help out with any of the people, what was I called? I was called a baby intern. And then there's like full managers, barn managers, stud managers, and mare managers. So I mean, that's more for upperclassmen, but you kind of have to work up to any internship that you do. So it's so easy to be involved though here with any animals that you want to. If you want to play with an animal, you can play with an animal. There's no problem. They're always open to as many volunteers as you want to. And then right now I'm doing an internship at the vet hospital because I was informed get in there as early as you possibly can. So I signed up to the vet aid club, which I was on all last year and did a few like workshops with them. And then this year I did my first internship and I got it through the club and so now I'm working at the large animal clinic there and just this past Wednesday I had my first day and it's awesome and you're in I'm at so many doctors and I'm so excited now so definitely recommend getting your foot in the door early if you're interested in vet school. Definitely the internship and career center has things that you can do there I mean if you want to create a resume they have workshops to create a resume. Um, the vet aid club itself has workshops for vet school and like I hear through them like like GRE is a test we have to take to get into vet school and they have like GRE events and I went and took a free prep test with them. So I mean, really being involved in a club, it's kind of like an outline of what you need to do and everything you want to do. So it was really helpful with that. And because if you're not in a club, you just kind of have to figure it out all on yourself where a club will literally shoot you emails, go to this, go to this, go to this. You're like, okay, that's easy. So I mean, it's definitely easier just to sign your name on a listserv for a club and pay your dues and then all the fun, like crazy things I've done, like I've been to Chinchilla Health Day where I did physical exams with chinchillas, that was through the Vet Aid Club, so I would never have heard about that if it hadn't been that. So I mean, clubs are definitely an easy way to get involved in fun things. I think I definitely will be. I mean, I don't think anything can prepare, prepare you for what vet school is, but I mean, I definitely will have a good, how do I say it? A good standing a good idea of what I'm getting myself into and I'm specializing in a major that will get me prepared for the class I'm going to take because within animal science you can specialize whatever you want. I mean you can do equine, you can do pigs, you can do whatever you want but I'm going to do like MPV, neurology, physiology, and behavior just to get myself used to the kind of classes that are going to be in vet school. So I mean you can really specialize your major to prepare yourself. I mean you can sit back and be easy and just do like equine which is what I want to do. But my advisor's like, no, go take your hard classes, get used to what it's going to be like. And so, yeah, I feel like I'll be prepared, definitely. I think so. I mean, I think they're definitely beneficial. I feel like I don't go to them a lot because I already know a lot from, like, my high school preparation. They prepared me for college. But, I mean, definitely someone who's never had that kind of preparation, I'd say they're definitely beneficial. I'm going to apply straight out of college just because I don't want to get off the track of school and get distracted. But, I mean, if for, I don't get in the first time, I'll probably end up taking a year off and more hours.